Well, hello boys and girls. Well, I got my ass spanked yesterday now, didn't I? Yes, I only got three right. And I am like very, very sorry to all of you. All of you fans who have been uh, depending on me for my picks. And so much so that, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to throw in an extra vat of Jaime's to everybody out there that goes, that uh, watches my Watches me and writes me letters. You're all getting a vat of Jaime's. So, I got Masseuse Katie. Masseuse Katie, remember I was telling you this morning, I want, what, what is it? 10 vats? Of all the 10 vats, right? There's like 10 people that watch this. 10 vats of Jaime's. I want it all ribboned up and I'll, I'll sign them. And you send them out to all my fans there for, uh, an apology for how poorly I did yesterday. Uh, my gosh, every sing I hope you had the. Uh, I, I hope you guys were taking the long shots yesterday and didn't listen to my ass. That's for sure because uh, they were coming in like crazy. Phoenix beating Montreal. Vegas taking out Vancouver, who has been playing very well lately. And this Vegas team uh, playing their third or fourth string goaltender. Uh, legacy, uh, all of a sudden, and just pulling out wins, even, I mean, I think they're 500 since their two top goaltenders went out, but still, uh, they're, they're, they just keep on winning. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of those players seem like they just have new life and, uh, they're playing better than they have for years. Uh, what's his name? Perot, uh, that they got from St. Louis. That doesn't sound right, but his, uh, he, uh, when he first came in the league, I remember before the Oilers got him, I he was such a fire plug, and he had a lot, he had wicked six stick skills. Um, but what I think happened is they defensive minded the hell out of him, and uh, he now he went through a stage where I think he just got kind of tired of the game, but now he's in Vegas and they need goals, and they're just like go at her, buddy, and he is, he's freaking lighting her up. Uh, I think you could say that for a lot of players in this league, honestly. And the way the league has gone in general, I, I remember uh, there was, you know, I was talking to somebody and they said, you know, there was a time when you were playing hockey that they'd say, get out there and score. And now they say, get out there and make sure you don't lose your man. You know, it, it's the whole philosophy has changed and I don't think for the better, honestly. But Good thing we see Vegas. Why the heck is his name not coming to me? P. Oh, jeez. Anyways, Perron, I think. Yes. Um, and uh, it, hopefully you see more cases like this with Vegas where you have guys that are not known for their defense, like Marcia Show, Perron, uh, Neil, um, uh, several several of their players. Who else is scoring on that team? Uh, Lep Le Leipzig isn't really known for being a huge defensive uh, player as well. Um, now, they have guys that do, like Carlson, who was already known for his defense and stuff. But most of their offensive players, they didn't do get into the league or and took a while to get into the league. And when they did get in the league, they didn't get high minutes because the talk was that they were poor defensively. And now you see a game going, uh, and now you see a coach that says, Let's, we'll work on your defense, but we want you to score you know, first and foremost. And I'd like to see that more in the league. I hope it catches on. And I think it's going to, because you're seeing coaches now, like Stevens in, in, in uh, LA, that are being hired, that have Laviolette. Uh, you know, Poyle is probably one of the greatest minds we'll ever see in hockey. There's several of them. He's right up there. And he, Laviolette has always been a guy who's been offense- and then worry about defense, not defense, and then worry about offense. They play an aggressive style. They want they want the game played on the other end of the ice as much as possible. Not that defense doesn't matter, but it, it they don't want to kill the game either. And it's sorry this this the whole thing seemed to happen around New Jersey time, 
when they were trying to bring parity in the league while bringing in expansion teams that had players on it that weren't NHL caliber. So the way to solve that is they said, let them tackle each other just to even up the playing field because more than likely those those uh, expansion teams back then wouldn't even got a win if it wasn't for that. And I think that was part of the reason why they did what they did. But New Jersey, uh, New Jersey Devils are a good example of a team that took full advantage of that and played a really boring system. Now you see a guy like Hitchcock who does also play something similar to that, uh, very regimented, and it's not working in Dallas. And it's starting to be that these coaches that play like that are not getting the results that they used to. And thank God for that, honestly. I'm glad that that's the case. The only one I can say that is getting results, but I don't think he actually is fully that type of coach, is Boucher in Ottawa. He's a, he's a, a and, and you can also make a case for Julian. Um, he had lots of success in Boston. He, he'll probably turn that Montreal Canadiens team around. Um, but he's sort of a hybrid. He'll do whatever he thinks he needs. Um, and from what I can tell, he's starting to let his offense go. And I hope the heck more coaches do it. And I hope they start bringing in guys that are willing to let most coaches do it. Like Green in Vancouver, for instance, even though they beat them this year. They play that type of game. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. Um, I hope it happens. Um, did I give you my picks? <laughs> I'm taking the jackets. And uh, what was the other game? I mean, I'm taking the Red Wings over Buffalo and I'm taking the jackets. That there's only two games tonight, so we'll see how that works out. I really apologize for being shitty yesterday, and I'm going to step up my game. I'm going to get my game face on. I'm going to put out my full 42%, and we're going to turn this shit around. Have a great day, everyone. Lots of love to you.